So what I'm going to do now is the section that you probably had difficulty with when you studied the circuit. And once you understand the theory of this, this will come up in every single exam for you nearly. And once we understand this, then we look at the papers. So what's going to happen in this section is you're going to be asked to find the equation of a circle. To form the equation of a circle, normally you need to know the center and you need to know the radius. But sometimes you can't find the center and radius using your coordinate geometry formula. So I'm going to say that again, because this is what all this question is about. You'll be asked to find the equation of a circle. To get the equation of a circle, you need to know the center and the radius. And then you fill it into the formula x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared. So in using this formula, what happens if you can't find the center and radius? It was similar to the line. What happened when you couldn't find the point in the slope? And when you can't find the center and radius using your coordinate geometry formula, you must make equations in G, F, and C. And in that case, the circle is called x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to zero. And you form equations in gf and c. And this question then will be a question based on solving equations. And it's similar in a line when you couldn't find the point in the slope, it was called y equal to mx plus c, and you solved the equations. However, in this case, there are three unknowns. So you could end up in a three by three system. So then, how do we form equations? Equations can be formed in four different ways. One way is you're given a point on the circle. For, they, for example, they might say two minus three is on the circle. That means we'd say two minus three. So two minus three is an element of x squared plus y squared plus two gx plus two fy plus c equal to zero. That's the x value and that's the y value, which implies x squared is two squared and y squared is minus three squared. And twice g times x is two and twice f times y is minus three plus c is zero. Four plus nine plus four g minus six f plus c is zero. Or there is an equation 4g minus 6f plus c 13 minus 13. There is an equation. And often when it's this method, we're nearly always given a point on the circle. And a point on the circle gives me an equation. Three unknowns, I need three equations. GFC is like an algebra xyz, xyz, xyz. So you need to understand what's happening. Then the maths will be easy. I'm asked to find the equation of a circle. I can't find the center and the radius using my formulae. So therefore, the circle is called x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals zero. I have to form equations. How do I form equations? There's four different ways. Here's one way. I'm given a point on the circle. Given the point on the circle, the equation will always be like this. It will be a linear equation. A second piece of information they may give me is they may give me, given that the center is on a given line. So the question might say, minus one four, that the center, center, oh, sorry, it might say the center is on the line 
2x minus y plus 7 equal to 0. Of course, we know the center of this circle is minus g minus f is an element of 2x minus y plus 7 equal to 0. That's now the x value, and that's the y value. Twice x, twice minus g. Minus y minus f plus 7 is equal to 0. There's an equation. Minus 2g plus f plus 7 is 0. That's the second way you get an equation. Of course, this doesn't have c in it, but that's irrelevant. OK. so. Once you understand this, you won't have a difficulty. I'm asked to find the equation of a circle. I can't get the center and the radius. The circle is called this, and I form equations. There's four, perhaps the fifth way if we want to find it, ways of getting equations. One way is you're given a point on the circle. Another way is you're given the center is, a, the center is on a given line, two forms of equations. Sometimes that's enough to do your leave and cert question. So here now is an example of a question that could come up here. It says, find the equation of the circle containing the points 1, 6, 3, 2, and 2, 3. Well, I don't know, but let's have a rough look of what it might look, uh, look like, this circle. So it contains the point 1, 6, which is there. It contains the point 3, 2, which is there, and contains the point 2, 3, which is there. So a circle that contains them three points may look like so. All right, so that's only a rough diagram. So that could be the circle, roughly something like so. Point one six, the point three two, the point, the point two three, and the point three two. They're on the circle. I'm saying the center then is around there. So I'm saying the circle is 6 in and about 6, 6. Guess that's what it would look like. Now, from these three points, I can't find the center and the radius. Well, I could, but it's a roundabout way. So therefore, I say to myself, I form equations. And this circle is called x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. So my first equation is 1, 6 is an element of x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. 1 squared plus 6 squared, plus 2g by 1, plus 2f by 6, plus c is 0. 1 plus 36, plus 2g, plus 12f, plus c is 0. Now that's the equation 2g plus 12f plus c equal to minus 37. My first e. All right. Now, the next part is two. I am told the point three two is on the circle. So three two on the circle. Three two is an element of x squared plus y squared, plus 2gx, plus 2fy, plus c equal to 0. 3 squared, 
plus 2 squared plus 2g by 3. Now take your time making these equations because you definitely don't want to get the equation incorrect because later on you won't be able to solve. So what have I got? 6g plus 4f plus c is 0. So 6g plus 4f plus c is minus 13. And finally, my third equation is 2, 3 is an element of x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. 2 to be squared plus 3 to be squared plus 2g by 2 plus 2f by 3 plus c is equal to 0. 4 plus 9 plus 4g plus 6f plus c is 0 or 4g plus 6f plus c is minus 13. Equation number 3. So now what you have to do is solve from your algebra a 3 by 3 system x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z. It's the same maths. And you go and solve that three by three system and you end up with your equation. And the equation you'll end up with is, sorry, now I'll just not get to the very bottom, is x squared and y squared minus 12x minus 12y plus 47 equal to zero. So, mathematically, this is easy but it's long and it takes too much time. So therefore, for your exam question, they'll have the same principle of solving equations, but they'll try to shorten this system normally. Now, what would shorten it? Well, that's what we learn now in the next little while. Would I always draw a diagram? Um, not necessarily. But there is room on the back of your papers if you have time to do this. Um, the reason I draw a diagram is to show you what's happening. Now, would you believe 6-6 six, six is the center? Wasn't that a good guess? 6-6. Six, six. Go from the minus 12, minus 12 would give me 6-6. Six, six. And um, how do you know that? Um, the question says, find the equation of the circle containing the points. Containing the points means the points are on the circle. So there is a long system. And I've given you that one. That's that method, given a point on the circle. All right. And this is a three by three system, X, Y, Z. Look at this one. This one shortens it a bit for me. Same type of thing again. Find the equation of the circle containing the points 1, 1, 2 minus 1, and center lies on that line. So again, from teaching point of view, I'm going to draw it for you. When x is 0, y is minus 7. And when y is 0, x is 7 over 3. So let me have a little diagram for you. I'm told these points are on the circle. One, one is on the circle. Two minus one is on the circle. And the center is on this line. So if I want to draw this line, zero minus seven, and two and a third. The center is on that line someplace. So I'd say if the center was there, there would be a nice circle. Mm -hmm. If the center was here, of course, the distance to both of them would have to be the same. I'd say there would be a circle, something like that. So I'm filling the rules. The center is on this line, and my point one one. And my point two minus one 
are on the circle. 2 minus 1 also happens to be on that line, but that's just by chance. So now what I have to do is I can't find the center and radius, so I form the equations. The circle is called x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. So therefore, I'll go along and I'll say my first equation is 1, 1 is an element of x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. And that will give me the equation 2g plus 2f plus c is equal to minus 2. And you be very careful that you get this stuff right all the time. The second equation is 2 minus 1 is an element of x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. And that will give me the equation 4g minus 2f plus c is equal to minus 5. And my third equation is that the center is on the line 3x minus y equal to 7. The center of this is minus g minus f is an element of 3x minus y equal to 7. So 3 times minus g minus minus f is equal to minus minus f is equal to 7. So minus 3g plus f is equal to 7. And there's my third equation. So now I have to solve simultaneously I have to solve 2g plus 2f plus c equal to minus 2, 4g minus 2f plus c equal to minus 5, and minus 3g plus f equal to 7. That's like x, y, z, x, y, z, and x, y. So I'd eliminate c here. I get an equation in G and F. And then that equation with this one will allow me to solve G and F. And then the circle I will get in the end is x squared plus y squared minus 5x minus y, uh, minus y plus 4 equal to 0. I was asked there, could I got, not got the distance between two points to get the radius? Well, the distance between these two points here, they're the only two points I have. That's not a diameter of the circle. The distance between that point and this point, but I don't know what this point is. I could form equations in a roundabout way, but the answer is no. I can't get the distance between two points all right and where i get this in the end is i solve for g i know f i know c so the equation is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to zero so that's the first part of getting equations forming so, getting the equation of a circle forming equations.